Hi, my name is Nikki Norton. I'm a consultant with Jamboree Nails, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a Jamboree Nail Wrap. This is my favorite, most easy method. The first things that I want you to, to make sure that you use is our cuticle remover. It's an awesome little pen that, when clicked on the bottom, comes right out the top. You'll just paint the bottom of your cuticle, kind of just in a U-shaped, and let that sit. Go, Feel free to go through all of them. I've already gotten the rest of my Jamicure done, so I'm just going to leave the last one to show you. But then, using our Deluxe Jamboree Deluxe Application Kit, which is fabulous and worth every penny, take your metal cuticle spoon. Now, this is going to uh, ensure that you don't have any invisible cuticles. Invisible cuticles are simply just skin that's at the base of your nail or potentially even growing on the entire tip of your nail. So what I'm doing here, if you can't see, is just flat and gently pushing back and scraping all of the cuticles that may be at the base of my nail and or potentially growing right on the top. Obviously, these are nail wraps and the adhesive needs to stick to the nail itself. So if there's any cuticles growing at all, that is going to do, um, not give you the longest lasting nail wrap application. So if you've tried them in the past and your nail wraps have literally fallen off within hours, I can almost guarantee you that you have got them on either cuticles or the skin itself because that oil from the skin and or the cuticles will pop that adhesive right off. So what I am doing now is just going to um, clean up my nail using our nail prep and get that ready to go. All right, so now that my nail is um, fully cleaned of cuticles, for sure, uh, the one thing I could do is go wash my hands and Dawn dish soap is a really good degreaser. And so um, I could use that as well. I have cleaned mine relative, you know, obviously on a regular basis. And so I'm not as concerned to, to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put on our um, nail wraps and this is actually half of a sheet. I had cut it right in half to make this easy. And so I'm going to make sure that the wrap I'm choosing is fit for my nail. So I want to make sure that I have, when I put it on my nail like this, I'm actually going to see the nail, the skin on either side. So this second wrap is perfect for this finger. Now, the, re the way I do it is just to cut the wrap that I want directly off of the wrap itself, or the, the sheet, I should say. And then I just cut it in half because that's just way easier for me. <laughs> so um, using my nail prep, since I've prepped my nails, and now I'm going to be using our Jamboree Mini Heater, which I have got a little dirty here, apparently. Um, I'm just gonna turn it on, and it's actually on right now, and so it's a very quiet heater. You can utilize this um, while, or you know, using it while watching TV and you won't interrupt the rest of your friends or family members and or your show so you can still see what's on HGTV without having to turn it off. Alright, now three to five seconds with a glossy and I'm going to just place it at the base of my nail without touching my cuticle. So this is step one just working on placement. I don't really want to use my my fingers as much as possible because obviously I don't want those oils from my fingers to get on the wrap itself. So number one is just placement. Once you have it placed from the base of your nail working upwards, just um, getting it in the right place. Then go back and heat it up a second time just on one side. Then I'm going to grab a purple pusher and from the base all the way working towards out, pushing it out and all the way up to the top, I'm going to get that second seal on the top and then I'm going to heat up the other side and do the second side pushing out from the base and then up. I can utilize my purple pusher. I personally with my nails like to use my thumb especially because I know I have the right size and then I go back through and push it all down and heat it up once. More heat and pressure, heat and pressure. That's really what's going to ensure that you're going to get the best seal. And there you go, now I'm on. Now, what I typically like to do is, it, when I'm doing a full Jamicure, is just trim this down. I'm not touching, I'm just trimming it so there's a little bit of an excess, but it's not gonna get in the way. And then I'll actually go right over to my second finger and go back and forth. That way I don't have a bunch of nail wraps trying to figure out what half goes to what finger and what matches. That's how I like to do it. 
The other reason I do it that way is by the time I come back to all of my nails, I file them all at one time. The reason I do this is then I know that it's hard and it's not still hot. When it's hot and you file it, it's gonna shrink, the wrap itself is gonna shrink back on the nail, so that's no good. All right, so then I'm going to file it. So once it's um, fully cooled off, I'm going to file it. The first thing, I'm using our glass file from the application kit, and I'm going to file at a 90 degree angle straight down. If I go back up, I'm picking it up every time. If I go back up, it's going to pull that nail wrap and I off my nail, and I don't want to do that. So I literally am just filing at a 90 degree angle until that wrap extra comes off. It will just flake off. Then the key to, to longevity, and so it doesn't snag on your clothes, is to then take a 45 degree angle and get all of the excess that is kind of just sticking out off. So all of this excess is just going to create almost like a dusting of nail wrap, and that's going to ensure that it's not going to get um, any, it's not going to snag on any of your clothes, and it's going to ensure that you have the best application possible. So I was a former nail biter, so I keep my nails nice and short because that's what I'm used to after biting them for 30 years. But you can do it at any size and then mix and match for your favorite combination. Hope this video helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or your consultant. Hope you have a great day and enjoy your jams.